what's up y'all i hope that you're having an awesome day or night or whatever it is wherever you are um i have a very large container full of empty products uh i don't even remember when's the last time i did an empties it was a while ago and i let this box get way too full like it, it should not be this full this is ridiculous so i'm going to try to breeze through this as quickly as I can because this is a nightmare for real I took everything out of the box and I have it all split up into categories that way it is a little bit easier for me to manage so <laughs> there's a lot of stuff um, I will start I guess with hair um, I, I don't know, it's right here. So, uh, for some hair products that I used up, I used up three minis of some hair products. I have used up the one by Frederick Fricai. Um, this is the one and some, no, one and then some dry texturizing spray. Um, I didn't really care for this. I don't believe, it didn't really give my hair the texture that I wanted to. It just didn't put enough grit into it for it to really zhuzh up my hair, you know what I mean? Um, so I wasn't really a fan of this, so I won't be repurchasing it. Um, I used up a mini of Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. Um, I also have another Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy Bodybuilding Dry Shampoo. Um, this one is in original, this is in orange mango. Uh, I don't particularly care for it. It didn't get rid of the excess oils like some other dry shampoos did that I'm going to be talking about in just a second. Um, but for whenever I, ha I had this whenever I had dark hair or at least darker roots, uh, you know, whatever. Um, and this didn't leave a super white cast on my hair, so... If you do have darker hair or darker roots, I mean, this might be okay. Um, but it just didn't, you know, get the, uh, the excess oils out of my hair like I wish that it would have. I have this uh, other little mini before I talk about that. This is the Orbe Freestyler Working Hairspray. It's just a really lightweight hairspray. It's kind of more of a finishing spray. Um, it doesn't really provide any hold to my hair, but what I would do, I would spray it. I'm trying to spray it right now. I would spray it on the top and then just kind of lay down my flyaways and I really liked it for that. So I would maybe consider repurchasing this, maybe not because I don't care that much if I have flyaways. Um, just some days my hair was just a little, little, little frizzy up here. Um, but this was awesome whenever I had it. If I do get another one, I mean, that would be cool. Now, some dry shampoos that I do really, really like. It is all from the same brand, which is Batiste. Um, so the Batiste, uh, dry shampoo, this one is the Floral Flirty Blush one. I have the original dry shampoo Batiste. And then also this Batiste, which is Coconut and Exotic tropical flavor scent um this one actually did smell really good and this is the most recent one that i had i really oh i was just at target why didn't i get dry shampoo damn it because i'm out i'm like out out of dry shampoo um one thing i will say especially with this one this put such a white cast in my hair whenever my roots were darker and more grown out this looked absolutely horrible in my hair. If you have dark hair, just be aware. Because, you know what? Kind of like all of them. Uh, they just left a really bad white cast in my hair. But I'm still going to repurchase. I have some skincare that is my staple skincare. So I'm just going to run through this really quick. Four of the Cartier Micellar Waters. I like the one with the pink cap on it. I don't like the green cap and I don't like the blue cap because even though the blue cap says that it is an oil-free thing, I, whenever I use it, my face just feels really disgusting. Like, I feel like it has a film on it and I don't like it. I'm not about that life. 
pink one is where it's at and I got like a mega bottle of it in my bathroom right now so I'm really excited. I have three of the Pixie To Go Glow Tonics. Um, I have a little bit of a beef. I don't know if it is my beef is with Pixie. I don't know if my beef is with Target. But my Target, actually a couple Targets that I have been to, I can't find this anywhere. Like, they don't have it. They don't have the Glow Tonic To Go and they don't have the original Glow Tonic that's in the bottle. I don't know why because that's like what their most famous product pretty much um so yeah I don't know why I can't find it anywhere but um yeah I'm pretty sure that I could just go onto their website and order it but I don't feel like it uh what I did instead is I got Mario Badescu's what is it glycolic acid toner um, because this does have glycolic acid in it whenever I was out of this and I was between toners my skin got so textured and so rough it it was dry it was weird my skin was not happy at all i realized that i really need a glycolic acid toner in my life so i'm really glad that i found the mario badescu one um it's working amazingly and it's the same price as this pretty much i think this is 18 dollars, and so is the mario badescu so pixie I've moved on. I also have four of my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizers. These have hyaluronic acid in them. Still my all-time favorite moisturizer and I still have another one in my bathroom right now. I have two different makeup wipes in here. I have the Neutrogena Original Makeup Remover Wipes. And then I also have this one. I believe I got this one from Walmart. Uh, it is the Apilly. I don't know. It is this makeup remover wipe right here. I'm pretty sure it's just a knockoff of this one. Um, I mean, they work fine. Uh, actually, oh yeah, that says compared to Neutrogena. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, this one, they weren't as wet as the Neutrogena's. Um, uh, I feel like it was like a rougher, not rougher, but it's just the towelette wasn't as wet and like saturated as the Neutrogena one was. Uh, let's see. Oh, I tried this mask last night. This is from Bath and Body Works. Um, it is the Skin Goals Gentle Sheet Mask with Tea Tree Oil. Um, I liked it. It had a slight tea tree oil smell. It wasn't super irritating to my skin. Uh, my skin wasn't like inflamed or anything after that. Um, but yeah, it was a nice little sheet mask. So I did like that. This pearl what is it? Pearl Brightening Mask from Black Cost. This did absolutely nothing for my skin. <laughs> I remember now. This did nothing for my skin. Um, I mean, yeah. It's really hard for me to get behind sheet masks, especially whenever you don't use them every day. It's just like, what's it doing? You know, it didn't do anything for me. It was just a sheet mask. I have this from Patchology. It is the Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. Um, they are the little patch masks, eye patch masks that you put right under your eyeballs and let it sit there and moisturize. Um, these were nice. I mean, they added some moisture. They didn't do anything, you know, dramatic to my eyes or anything like that. It was okay. This from Coco Star. I believe is how you say it, is a rose lip mask. This was horrible, y'all. It was one of those, like, pieces of, like, jelly sheet mask, you know what I mean? And you put it over your mouth and you let it sit there. Once I took that off and, like, you massage the rest of it into, like, your lips and, like, around your mouth, that tasted like butt. It was disgusting. It left a nasty chemical taste in my mouth like I'm uh, this was bad don't get this it was horrible it did nothing to my mouth it kind of dried my lips a little bit like after the like remaining product had dried my mouth just felt tight and dry and just disgusting I hated this so much and now I have this from glow recipe it is the watermelon glow jelly sheet mask 
Um, this was another one of those like kind of jelly mask. It's not like the papery fabric sheet mask. Um, it feels like a jelly. Um, it came in two parts. So there was one for your eyes and then a separate part for like your mouth and chin. Um, I did like that one. It felt nice. It was hydrating. Um, but and if you barely pinched the mask, it would tear very easily. If you tried to adjust it, it would split and it was really, really annoying. Um, I mean, it's nothing that I'm going to go back out and buy just because, I mean, honestly, it hardly did anything. It felt hydrating and stuff at the time, but did it have any like lasting effects on my skin? No, it didn't. Okay. Um, I used up this sample of the Luna Sleeping Night Oil from Sunday Riley. Um, I did really like this. Um, I probably won't be repurchasing just because Sunday Riley is a little bit on the expensive side. And yeah, uh, mama's on a budget. So I probably won't be repurchasing this, but I mean, I'll definitely look for something similar to it because I did like this and it did leave my skin nice and smooth. Another thing that I really like that is also a sample is this from Drunk Elephant. I really, really like this. This is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Um, it has a 25% AHA and 2% BHA. Um, it's a chemical exfoliant. You put it on your face, let it sit for, I believe, 20 minutes. You rinse it off. And my face feels so, so smooth after this. Um, you can use it once a week. Um... But yeah, I really, really liked this. Um, your face does tingle a little bit if you use it. My face tingles whenever I use it. Just at first, um, I do shave my face because I like to have smooth makeup application. So if I shave my face and then put this on, it definitely tingles, especially, you know, on the just freshly shaven parts of my face. Um, but I definitely like this. I might repurchase. I don't know. I mean, I didn't purchase this. This was in an Allure Beauty box. I think I might have like one or two more little, little facials out of here. But I do really like this. And it feels really nice. My skin looks amazing afterwards. So I stand. I'm not throwing that away. Now, two other things for skincare. Um, I got these e.l.f. Booster Drops. Um, this is the e.l.f. Booster Drops, the hydrating one, and this is the nourishing facial oil. Um, you can see that I still have some in here because I haven't used it in a while. I was using it, but I introduced a different oil into my skincare routine. I got the Organic Rose Hip Oil from Botanics, and I've been using that in my skincare routine, and I just feel... Between using that and using this, this just feels like a heavy oil going onto my skin. And I realize I really don't like the feeling. I mean, I used more than half of it. But after starting to use the Botanics um, Rose Hip Oil, I just, I'm, I'm not really into it anymore. This, however, the Hydrating Oil, I believe it was called, uh, this just says Booster Drops on it. And it literally has nothing else on here. Um, this, I would say, I did like it. Um, what I would use this for if I repurchased it would be to add a little bit of moisture or thin out a foundation. So if you wanted to add a little bit more hydration into like a really heavy foundation, I would put, you know, one or two drops of this into there because I think that would really, you know, make a foundation go on really beautifully. This is the Halo Beauty Original Hair Skin Nails Booster Formula. I love this when I remember to take it. I'm so bad about taking medication, about taking vitamins. I'm really bad about it. Um, but my hair, skin, and nails is so good whenever I remember to take this. Actually, I really need to order another bottle because I am like bare minimum almost out. Like, I'm breaking it down to one pill once a day because I can't take two right now because I'll be out within a couple days. Anyways, um, yeah, I really, really, really love these. And, I mean, it's, I don't really know what else to say. 
my skin is so hydrated, so smooth. I don't have breakouts whenever I use this. My hair feels better. My nails grow like crazy. This is seriously such a good vitamin for your hair, skin, and nails. <laughs> I have four bottles of the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I really like it. I love it. I, I want some more of it. <laughs> Um, I have another bottle right here that um, is probably about halfway or so and I just got this not too long ago. That is one thing that I will say. I don't know if it's just because I like it so much that I'm just like, oh, spraying it and spraying it and spraying it all over my face. But I do go through these very fast. Also, another absolutely amazing um, setting spray, which I'm sure that you've heard of. I've been using it for a while now. But it is the Catrice Prime and Fine Illuminating Dewy Glow Spray. This is amazing. This is such a good setting spray. Like, I'm not even kidding. I was so sad whenever I couldn't buy it. But I got another bottle of it. It's brand new. And I'm also trying out the um, other Prime and Fine, the Long Lasting one. So, the only thing... I really, really wish that they would make this in a bigger bottle because they sell out of it all the time. You go through this really fast. They need to make a bigger bottle. Catrice, please make a bigger bottle of this. We want more. Whew, I feel like I've been talking for a long time. We're coming into the home stretch. Um, all I have left is makeup products. And four of them is my favorite brow product. <laughs> Um, this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, and I use the shade Dark Brunette. Um, I just ran out of one of them today, and I repurchased it again today. Um, there's not much to say. This is my absolute favorite brow product from the drugstore. I mean, I don't even buy high-end brow products because this is so good. It's like $7.99, I think. And I really love this. It's a good formula. It lasts on my brows. I mean, I have it on right now. But I was, like, running out, so my brows are kind of kind of tired. Which, also, I did put on my makeup, like, 12 hours ago. Or 13 hours ago at this point. So, yeah. I'm not looking as fresh as I could. But this is still an amazing brow product. I have a L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise here, and mine is in the shade Black is Black. I already repurchased a new one. Um, I like it. Uh, another thing that I ran out of is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel, and this is in the shade Deep Brown. Um, I love this. I have purchased a new one. I haven't really been using this too, too much. Um, I've mostly just been using my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, but I still really love this, especially whenever I'm going for, like, a really, like, intense, glam, A to Z, like, we're going out and I want my brows on, you know what I mean? But I still absolutely love this. Don't use the applicator that it comes with to put it on. I would use, um, a like angled applicator like this one to put it on with. This is my absolute favorite brow brush and this is from Essence and it's the Essence Eyebrow Brush. This is such a good brow brush, just to let you know. Uh, I ran out of my Duo Lash Adhesive. This is in the clear formula. The clear form, yeah, the clear one because there is a black one and a clear one. And I think that they just came out with a new one that's like an ultra fast drying formula. I saw it at my Walgreens. Um, I was going to pick it up, and I don't know why that I didn't. But, yeah, I ran out of this, and I already repurchased it. I ran out of a Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Lolita. Um, I can... Oh, it just flew out. I, I was going to say, I can still see, like, a little nubbin in there, but it won't come up anymore. But I think it flew out somewhere. So that'll be fun whenever I step on it later. Um, I probably won't be repurchasing this just because I don't like spending a lot of money on a lip liner. I don't use lip liners like every single day, but I just don't feel like a lip liner is something that I want to splurge on. The only reason why I have this is because it came in an Allure Beauty box. I have two different concealers that I ran through. The Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade Ivory. It's 
one of my all-time favorite concealers, as is many other people. Um, mostly I use this on days where I'm literally not putting on any makeup. I can't say literally and still say this in the same sentence, but I'll just conceal some blemishes, maybe just get right up here under my eyes and kind of go out the door. Um, but this is awesome for that. Also, the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. Um, what shade is this? This is in the shade Porcelain, which I believe is their lightest shade. This is such a good concealer. Like, you know what? That's what I need to repurchase. I have had an Ulta cart opened, and I, I didn't know what else I wanted to put in there. So, I think I'm going to repurchase this. If they have my shade, they're always sold out of what I want. But this is a really awesome concealer formula. It's It gives really good coverage, but it's not thick. It is a more watery consistency, and it just glides on really smooth. I really, really like this concealer. I have two primers here. One of them is my very beloved uh, Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. Like, y'all, I pried off the cap and was scraping in here just so I could get the last little bit out. But this is the best pore reducing primer, pore filling primer that I've ever tried, drugstore and high end. Like literally nothing beats this. And I have a brand new one right here. Another primer that I ran out of is the Maybelline Master Prime and this is in the Hydrate and Smooth formula. Um, I believe I did repurchase, yes. I did repurchase this, but I haven't really been reaching for it, and I'm not sure why. But this is a very good formula. Um, it's a great primer. It adds, you know, a little bit of some moisture to your skin. Um, if you do have dry skin, it, it's most likely not going to be moisturizing enough for you people with dry skin. And last but certainly not least, um, I ran out of a Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. This is such a good cushion foundation. This is in the shade 106A Light Ivory. Um, I believe this is the lightest shade that they make. And, I mean, the Wet n Wild cushions, they're, they're just good. They're just really good. It's easy to throw them on. You know, it gives really good coverage for a cushion foundation. And I really enjoy... I, I just like them. I think I have two more in my drawers over there. And... I mean, this will be something that I continue to repurchase and just something that I like to have, especially on days whenever I want to go super light with my makeup or minimal. Uh, I mean, I have even gone full glam in this and it held up and it's awesome. So, we'll continue to repurchase this. That is it. Uh, that is everything that was in my empties bin. So now I can finally throw that trash away and start another bin and I'm not going to wait another what like eight months or something to do another one because that was a lot that's that's a lot in there um so anyways I hope that you enjoyed this video I'm out of breath my voice hurts anyways I hope that you enjoyed today's video I hope that you liked watching me go through my trash and I like watching empties videos because it really shows what someone went through Especially in this day and age whenever there's just so many products out there and it's it's just fun to see what someone uses up and if they're going to get it again. So hopefully that was good for y'all. Um, I am going to get out of here. If you did like this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, ring the little notification bells. I put new videos out every single Tuesday and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Turn up, let's, let's go.